Hi there everyone and welcome to this video. What we'll talk through in today's video is uh, how we can go and acquire a fixed asset in uh, Business Central. Uh, so we do have other videos on uh, how you can do other things on the fixed asset ledger. Um, I will add some more um, in time. Uh, but for this video, we'll be focusing on how we can go ahead and acquire a fixed asset that we've set up in our environment. So let's get into it. I'm going to go into finance and fixed assets here. And I'm just going to go into the single fixed asset card that we have set up here right now. I just want to bring your attention to the acquired checkbox. Um, it's marked as no for the moment, so we haven't acquired it. Uh, the book value is zero as well right now. So if I drill down into there, you can see that there are no fixed asset ledger entries currently against my fixed asset. So what we'll go ahead and do now is we will acquire our fixed asset. And there are a few ways that you can do this in BC. Uh, today, I will show you acquiring the fixed asset via a purchase invoice. OK, so let me go into my purchase invoices. I'm going to raise a new purchase invoice. Uh, I'm going to select my vendor and I'm going to select a vendor invoice number. And I'm going to select on the lines area a type of fixed asset. And then in the number column, I can see my single fixed asset that I have set up in my BC company. So I can then input a quantity, so I'm going to say one, and I can input my direct unit cost. So I'll just put in a value there. And you can add the, the VAT prod posting group field in to set your VAT rates just as you normally would on any invoice, but I'm not going to do that for now. Um, what I will do though is just show you the FA posting type field here, okay? so. Uh, this is set to acquisition costs right now, um, but you can set this to maintenance or appreciation as well, depending on what you're doing for this particular fixed asset purchase invoice line. OK, um, so I'm just going to leave that as acquisition cost for today. Um, another thing here, obviously, be careful of your posting date of your invoice. Uh, we should always obviously be careful of posting dates in BC because they will define um, when the transaction hits our GL, um, but I'm going to back post this a little bit here and I'm going to say the 1st of March 2024, right? So uh, I'm just doing this uh, on this invoice just to show you that you can, um, but this is the date that will effectively turn out to be the acquisition date for our fixed asset in our BC environment. OK, so just to recap before I go ahead and post, um, I put on a purchase invoice. I selected a vendor. I input a vendor invoice number. I put in a line type of fixed asset, selected my Ferrari 599 GTO. Um, I put in a quantity of one and my direct unit cost against my fixed asset. Then I just reviewed the FA posting type, which we have selected as acquisition cost. But you can also set it as maintenance and appreciation if you want to. Um, so what I'll go ahead and do now is just do a preview posting. And what this will do is it will just error. Um, so let me just go ahead and set that up. Export and misc. OK, one second. Sorry, I've not done this on this environment before, obviously. So let me just go here. And I'll try that again. So this time the invoice posting um, has uh, has been made and I'm just going to talk you through the entries here before we post the invoice. So I'll talk you through all of the uh, the sub ledger entries um, as long as the as well as the general ledger entries here. Sorry, but then we'll go off into the fixed asset card just to see what's happened there. OK, so firstly, the GL entries, we've got two of those. So one side of that transaction goes to my GL account 62210. So that's driven by uh, my um, posting setup on my fixed asset ledger. The other side of the transaction goes to my accounts payable. OK, so they are the uh, postings that are going to be made to my general ledger. 
My vendor ledger will also be affected. Obviously, we're posting a purchase invoice. So if I go into there, there's one vendor ledger entry. It's an invoice to vendor number 10,000. I mean, I won't go through this, but we'll do uh, another video on vendor ledger entries. Uh, I have a VAT entry. So uh, although there's no VAT on my transaction, I still have the base amount of my transaction there with no VAT on there. So I also have a detailed vendor ledger entry, as there always is off the back of a vendor ledger entry. I won't go through that in, uh, in much detail. There's no need. Um, and the fixed asset ledger entry is the final one on here. So it's just a posting that's going to go to my fixed asset ledger with the amount FA posting type is acquisition cost and the date is the 1st of March 2024. Okay, so that's all the entries. Let me go ahead and post my invoice here. Um, BC is asking me, do you want to open the posted invoice? I'm going to say no. But what we'll do here is let's go back to our fixed asset ledger and I can go into my fixed asset card here. And what we'll see now is the acquired checkbox is marked as yes. So as I said on one of my previous videos, we can't toggle this checkbox. I can't change the value in here. It's system controlled. Um, and also now if I go into my book value, I can drill down on the 150,000 that I see there. If I want to see a bit more detail on that, I can go in and that brings up my FA ledger entries, my fixed asset ledger entries. I can see the underlying detail here that the posting date was the 1st of March 24. I've got the document type as invoice and the reference number here. My fixed asset number is my Ferrari. Uh, I've got the depreciation book code that was used on this transaction. Um, I've got the FA posting type, so that's the fixed asset posting type, which, in it, which is an acquisition cost. Then I've got the amount on here as well. So uh, it's just uh, giving me the detail, the underlying detail of my fixed asset is the uh, fixed asset ledger entry screen. OK, and that's really it, guys. I mean, that's how you can acquire a fixed asset. There are other ways. I mean, you do have another application area called the fixed asset GL journal. So I can come into here and I can literally do a journal posting. Um, to acquire my fixed asset as well, right? So I've got two sides to my journal. I can do an FA posting type here as well. I can choose acquisition cost, appreciation, maintenance, just as I could on my purchase invoice, right? So I guess this is to do with sort of business process and how you acquire your, your sort of fixed assets according to your operations, right? So you might sort of um, do, do some specific postings, um, and BC has the flexibility to, to do that for us. Uh, yeah, so that's everything I wanted to show you. Have a play in a, a test environment. If you have any questions, do reach out. Um, but I hope that was useful. Thanks very much for watching.